Okay, um, this is our uh, weekly uh, Bible study group on Tuesday, and uh, we generally have a whole lot of fun here, and so many people in the church uh, maybe don't even know we exist, and so here we are. Uh, we're, it's Tuesday morning, and we're here for Bible study, but I wanted to kind of have a little conversation with these people that to kind of get uh, their input uh, as and use it as a giving moment for some of the Sunday services. We're in a, a season of stewardship where we're contemplating uh, commitment, financial commitments for the coming year. But I just wanted to get the, the ball rolling by asking you all if you would, wouldn't mind sharing, what is it that's, uh, that's drawn you to this church? What do you, what do you appreciate about this church? And, and usually the teacher always has to go first. So I'm gonna tell you what I appreciate about this church. Uh, I love this group, this Tuesday morning group that we have. Uh, some of us meet at 9.30 for prayer, and then we have a Bible study, and it's, it's always just a lot of fun, and I just enjoy it and look forward to it every week. So I really appreciate this uh, Tuesday morning group. Any of the others have some things that you'd like to share about what is it that you appreciate about this church? I have to be honest and say that when Karen and I first started to come, I wasn't very thrilled about it from the standpoint that it was a much smaller church than I was really looking forward to. However, after coming in, and what I find most I like about the church is the congregation is so loving and caring about each other. And, and lift people up in prayer, and lift people up for Thanksgiving, and so on and so forth. And, and probably the most loving and caring church we've been in. Oh, that's not. Well, besides besides being so loving, which I agree with them, but it's devoted to mission work too, and I think that's important. And that we don't just worry about just our little congregation, but we spread out into the mission field. Wonderful. Anybody else have a thought, Margaret? Well, for me, it's it's kind of a combination. Um, of the friendliness of the congregation. And, and well, an example, it, I love the Sunday school class that I'm in, the Seekers, um, because it fits right into my, my history background and I love you know the, the esoteric things we study, but I wouldn't be able to come to church in person right now if Walter weren't, you know, hadn't immediately offered to come and pick me up and take me to church when we started back in person. And that's just an example of the, the wonderful friendliness of, of the entire, I mean, of everyone using one person as an example. Anybody else? I, I, uh, I like the, um, the smallness actually, it, although this congregation isn't really small, there's many much smaller, <laughs> but uh, it, it gives the opportunity to serve and it's, I, I like the friendliness of the people around here. And uh, uh, I, like, I like the sermons of, of our pastors. They're challenging and uh, the opportunity to learn. It's a great place for learning, that's for sure. How about you, Karen Packer? Well, you know, when Bob and I first moved here, he got on the, the internet looking for the closest church because we'd been in Yuma, Arizona. We were, uh, it was 20 miles round trip to the church because we lived out in the country. And um, we were kind of tired of that. It's okay if you only go to church once a week, but we were in choir and serving on the church in different ways. And so uh, we wanted a church that was close. And this was the first one we visited. We visited the Methodist, which he grew up in, and the Presbyterian, which I grew up in, but everything close. <laughs> and uh, this one was the fr friendliest, first one and friendliest. And then we visited around some others. And th at some point I said, oh, Bob, I don't want to go to a church where everyone is white like me because we had not experienced that in many, many years. And we came back and there was we're pretty sure it was in this church. <laughs> what about your motivations for giving to this church? I mean, what is it that motivates you to give money? Uh, 
we, you know, sometimes it's kind of, uh, we feel a little uh, cautious when we talk about money and some, some people would rather that we didn't ask or we have to ask, what is it that motivates you to give? Well, I'll tell you what motivates me a lot. Like, um, I'm chair of the staff parish relations committee and that's where most of the money gets spent for our church. But there's always, always some concern that if we don't have enough money, we won't be able to have two pastors. And, and uh, I was chair of the committee and, and then also oh, one, shoot. Uh, when I was chair, we could, first time we were able to increase Bonnie's time to half time. She was just a part time, increase her to half time. And it, it gets kind of scary when people don't give and we might have to start thinking about decreasing um, what we're doing. And we haven't done raises much and it's just, it's a, that's a big concern to me. All right, how about some positive reasons for giving? <laughs> I don't think of it as much giving to the church as giving to the Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if we get everything from the Lord, it should be easy to give back. And I, I've got to say, I have always been good. I, I tested the Lord. You're not supposed to. But years ago, I said, okay, give it as much as you'd spend on a movie. Then give as much as you'd spend going out to dinner. And every time I increased it, I found more in my checking account. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just amazing. You can't out give the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. He's giving everything to you. And I sense uh, when I come to church, I see you guys uh, with smiles on your face and a lot of uh, happiness and real commitment and, and people really uh, work very hard in this, this church. I'm looking at this table and every one of you has been very, very, even out there in the uh, online community, you all have been really hard workers in this church. Uh, Margaret is probably the youngest member of our uh, church because she came during the pandemic and then immediately she became the secretary of the church council. <laughs> so people jump in. And Bob Boker uh, is a, a, a usher, and Karen Boker uh, does the PowerPoints, and Anita's a greeter, and Pauline cleans up the communion cups, and Neil does everything that we ask him to, including <laughs> all his computer stuff. Everybody has a wonderful time in this church, and, and I think that that's a great motivation for giving. So thank you all for joining me today and uh, doing this wonderful uh, giving moment, and uh, I just, I love all of you. And, I'm hoping that the feeling is mutual. Absolutely is. And I think, too, that what I see people doing and jumping in and picking up and doing things, it isn't like they have, feel like they have to have a responsibility to do it. It's because they desire to do it, to participate and to be a part of everything that the church is doing. That's wonderful.